Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. Um, I'm so excited to come to you today and share our brand new um, Treat Yourself Like a Treasure products. Um, I think our new catalog is um, available. This is the cover. And I, if you have purchased anything with me before, a catalog is on its way to you with a little sample. So that is super exciting. And if you haven't purchased anything from me, but you would like to have a copy of the new catalog, just let me know and I will happily put one in the mail to you. Um, it, they did such a good job featuring our new um, products. And I guess you can imagine that treat yourself like a treasure refers to the fact that um, our new products, lots of them are jewel toned. So I'm gonna share them with you and show you, but the new catalog captures all of the new products and um, it just is a nice uh, resource to have. So you can look at colors, they show you makeup looks, things like that. So if you would like our new fall catalog, um, just let me know and I will put one in the mail to you. Um, it's really great. And I also wanted to say that we had two, um, little prize um, posts going on on Uniquely You with Stephanie on my page this last week. Uh, the, one of them was about picking your favorite lipstick look or lip color look and if you commented you'd be entered to win and so several people did that and I wanted to just announce that uh, Sabrina Zorovich you um, won for the lip color and I'm going to send you Beach Bronze because that was the one you said was your favorite of the pictures that I posted. And I think you'll like it too. It's a very wearable color. It's a very natural color. It has a little bit of a shine to it. Um, but it looks like this. It's a little gloss because I had lipstick in some of the pictures and gloss. And so I'm going to send this to Sabrina. So congratulations, you won the first drawing along with a couple other lip color samples. It seems to me um, you like a natural vibe, so I'm gonna share, send you a sample of Sheer Illusion and uh, Nude Blush, because both of those are very natural, neutral colors with a little bit of uh, shine. So Sabrina, you have a little prize on your way, so congratulations. And um, the other prize we had was a drawing for people that we were going on a picnic and you had to um, say what you would bring to the picnic and we did it in alphabetical order. And man, you guys were great. Everybody participated, got us all the way to Z. So I appreciate that. Um, it helps me, the more you interact on my page, um, it helps me pop up in people's feeds a little bit easier. So I really appreciate when you, um, invite people to come and join our group or you share about my posts or you um, let people know that I am uh, selling Mary Kay and um, if they'd like a facial or a new makeup look that I would be happy to help them. So thank you so much for doing that. And so everybody commented about the picnic stuff and I put your names in a um, drawing to pick somebody. And I, um, Terry, Bostaji, B-O-S-T-A-J-I. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, Terry, but you won. And for that one, I offered a gift certificate. Um, and you can do that. I'm gonna offer you a um, <clears throat> $15 gift certificate to shop with me. And you can pick out what you'd like and use the $15 gift certificate with me. Or if you'd rather not do that, I'm happy to send you a little collection of samples. So I have an eye makeup sample, an eyeliner in brown and black, and some mascara, um, our gel mask sample for you to try our gel mask, our eye cream sample. I have a little satin hands for you, um, a sample of our Meissler water, which I really love, and an eye patch sample if you would like to have that. And then a little um, facial in a bag. So it walks you through the um, repair set that we have that will give you a nice facial. So you won that, Terry. If you would rather, you can have that little bundle of sample stuff or you have a gift certificate that you can use to shop with me for $15. So thank you so much. Please keep participating on my page. It means a lot to me and I really, really appreciate you. But without further ado, I want to um, share with you some of the new products and things that I love. And so the first one is the Pink Clay Mask. 
Um, so, you know, I've been talking about that charcoal mask. I talked about our gel mask. Um, if you're more oily, the um, charcoal mask is what you're gonna wanna use. If you're more dry, you're gonna wanna use that gel um, moisture renewing mask. And if you are um, over 40, I recommend the biocellulose mask because that's gonna give you kind of a quick lift, um, hydration, um, it's amazing. So I love and use that one too. But the clay mask is gonna be good um, for all types of skin. It's gonna have the same type of effect though. It's going to attach, hi Patty, it's gonna attach to any dirt or impurities um, on your skin and lift them off and then leave your skin feeling smooth and hydrated and wonderful. It has plumeria extract and it's obviously a clay mask, so it's mineral rich. And I thought I would just show you on my hand. So it is actually pink. And you just do kind of like you do with the charcoal mask. You rub it in on your face. And uh, clay masks are um, pretty uh, popular. So I was really excited that Mary Kay came out with their own version. You same as with a charcoal mask, you're gonna put that on, you're gonna let it dry 10 minutes, and then you're gonna wash it off. And it is going to lift all that dirt and impurity off your um, pores, but it's gonna leave your skin feeling smooth and hydrated and lovely. So one or two times a week for 10 minutes, it's a, a good way to remind yourself to take a beat and do a little bit of self-care. It's gonna revive your skin. It's gonna help if it looks um, a little dull, it's gonna help brighten and um, bring it back. So I love that. Plumeria extract has antioxidant properties, which is important and it's gonna help your skin fight against free radicals. So we all need that. So I love that. And the, um, the deal I'm offering is if you try the um, clay mask or any of our new product lines, I am going to send you our brand new towel that says beautiful. It's perfect, it's gray. It has, um, a, it's a good size, so I love that. It says beautiful, so who doesn't need to be reminded in the morning that you're beautiful? So um, I love that. The fact that it's gray and you're gonna take clay mask off or if you have eye makeup and you use it for that, um, I just love that this color is gonna be very forgiving. And it is that kind of microfiber, so it's also gonna be very gentle on your skin. So if you try any of our new products, I am going to include this as a free gift while I have um, my supply here. And, um, it is, um, I think, going to be a great bonus. So the clay mask is awesome, and any of the purchases, um, you'll get a free gift from me because I really appreciate you shopping with me. I know you have choices, and you can um, shop lots of different places, so I appreciate you shopping with me. So that's our clay mask. The um, next thing I'm going to show you that I so, 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 so happy with is they came out with another body line. So we have our Satin Body products, which I love, and they have that white tea citrus fragrance, and um, they're amazing. And so if you wear no makeup and you just like to take a, a shower and pamper yourself, those products are awesome. We have a wash, we have a body scrub, we have a lotion, and we have a, a cream that's a little bit thicker. And I love that line. And actually I have it in my um, bathroom that my kids use and a, a friend of mine just visited and she was like, oh my gosh, I need all of this, it's awesome. So it's a really good line. And um, so Mary Kay came out with a new apple and almond. And I love, love, love almond. It's always the fragrance that I look for in my skincare. Hey, Audrey, I know you know I'm an almond girl. Um, so apple almond, even better because I do love apple. But the fragrance is pretty subtle. So I would have liked even a little more almond. But this is the um, body wash. So you see, it's just your typical clear body wash. But... The fragrance is lovely. It's a very light um, fragrance of apple and almond, so it's not gonna be offensive, but I just think it's um, a wonderful gift when you're trying to um, pamper somebody to give them products that are practical that anybody and everybody can use. Um, and so they have not only the body wash, they also have um, body lotion. So I love a gift, um, a combo gift that has both. And you know, like body wash or body lotion is, this is just a creamy lotion, same fragrance as your wash. So I like kind of reinforcing that um, scent. 
and it's gonna be super hydrating. It feels amazing on your skin. And like I said, um, not overwhelmingly fragranced. I just love it. It's fresh, mm, it's light, it's really good. And so for me, apple almond was my, what I gravitated towards, but I know Audrey's more a vanilla girl. And so we also have berry and vanilla. And I know lots of people like vanilla. And so this one is berry and vanilla and same. We have the body lotion and the body wash, both. And so again, I just think it makes an awesome gift for somebody. The holidays are coming. It's never too soon to start thinking about that. And they're $14 each. So um, a really reasonable gift that this is gonna last a while in the shower and the bathroom and your guest bathroom. I just think it's a, a great gift. So almond and apple or berry and vanilla, all, both of them are $14 and you have body wash and body lotion. So love, love, love that. I was super excited to see that. And then um, the other two products I got that really to me um, were kind of festive. One of them I'm wearing, I hope you can see, it's the um, Sunstone. I think I'm saying that right, make sure. It is Sunstone, yes. Um, and again, in keeping with, look how jeweled that looks. So at first I thought, how is that gonna feel on your lips, that glitter, is it gonna be crunchy or whatever? It's not, it's completely smooth. As you can see here, it just gives you a little, um, a little sparkle, but to me, it's very wearable every day. Um, or if you had on a little black dress and you were going out, it would give you a little bit of sparkle and glam, which I think could be really fun for the holidays. And I just think it's beautiful. Who doesn't want to reach into their purse and, and have that really pretty sparkly color? So the sandstone, um, I really like. And the other one is called Ruby. And to be honest, I gravitated to the Ruby. I'm not sure because usually I'm more neutral, but I've gotten really into the berries. And so I'm gonna show you the ruby. Um, and same, it just, I think it's beautiful. Look how sparkly and pretty the color is. It's really beautiful. And hopefully I can do this in my phone. Yeah. So you can see it does have a little sparkle and shimmer, but it's not over the top. So to me, I, I wore this um, the other day and it just has a little ruby berry. It's not going to be, as you can see, hopefully, and the lighting here is good enough. It's not bright red. So it is ruby, but to me, reads more like a berry than a uh, bright red. Oh, thanks, Anj. Yes, I know you love ruby. I gave you that ruby, girl. It's going to look pretty on you, too. Um, and then the other color that I um, took a picture with and posted uh, the other day of our new lip color is Pink Paparazzi. And as you can see, that's about as pink as you can get. It makes me think of Legally Blonde, um, where she's wearing, uh, Reese Witherspoon is wearing her pink outfits and her pink lipstick. This is that. And so um, I've already sold a couple of them. And so it's pretty popular. It was out I think last year, maybe last spring, and it was very popular and people loved it. So there, lots of people were excited they brought it back. And so um, the pink paparazzi is lovely. It's I think just a bright, happy, cheerful pink. Um, or some people I know are just a pink girl and I, um, I'm happy that we have something like that to offer. So those are our lip colors. And then um, the other thing that was so, so fun and so many people have asked me for was do we have nail polish? And finally, yes, we have nail polish. So love, love, love that. Um, they are uh, $10 each and they're called, um, I think Emerald. Yeah, Emerald is the green one and Rose is the pink one. And I'll kind of show you, I'm not sure this will do justice, but this is the pink color. And I didn't have time, honestly, um, to do my nails entirely, but you can see I have nude on these fingers and then this is what the pink one looks like. So hopefully in the light, you can kind of see the difference. These are nude and then this is the pink. So it's sparkly, but again, for me, I find um, too much shimmer is distracting and I don't love it. So this is kind of the nice middle ground of sparkly, but not distracting um, as far as I'm concerned. And then this is the emerald, which I think is also really pretty. And I was surprised that normally I'm a pink girl, 
but this emerald color also appealed to me. And again, I didn't have time to do them all, but I put it on this hand. Again, these are nude, obviously. And then this is the emerald. Um, and so you can see it has some shimmer, but um, I think it's really lovely and really fun for the holidays or for the fall or even for now. Like I said, I'm, I do intend to put them on um, my fingers when I take off this polish. And so I think the new nail polishes and $10, what a cute um, stocking stuffer or um, gift to give somebody just as a little lift them up for $10. You can do that pretty, pretty easily. So I love that. And then the other thing, I'll take my glasses off so you can see, I put on already, um, but I'll show you. We have two highlighters that just came out and, um, oh, I took my glasses off too soon. One is called um, Canary Diamond and the other is called Rose Sapphire. Again, keeping with the jewel theme. This is, um, this is, um, so so pretty i really i i thought i was going to be um uh, this was going to be my favorite but honestly i love this um rose one here they are side by side and then i have them on um my cheeks on here you can see i have this lighter i took the lighter one and i just put it here as a highlighter and it just does that it just highlights your cheekbone it highlights it kind of i think makes everybody all the focus kind of come up towards your eyes and then on this side I have the pink and so I just highlighted here a little bit and hopefully you can see that in the light pretty well so um yeah a little bit of a more gold look on this side and a little bit of a pinker look on this side they're both very subtle right highlighters are not blush so they're very um subtle and the thing I really liked is um the color is so pretty that if you wanted to, you could use it on your eyes, no problem. That's the um, pink here. It's very subtle, like I said, but if you were wanting to not double duty um, two products, and then there's the other one. And so to me, both this um, more gold one and the pink one could double on your eyes. There's no reason you couldn't use them in both places. So I love that. I think they're both really pretty and just how they look, like how they pressed it in there, it's really pretty. Um, so I think you could have both in your makeup bag if you wanted to switch it up and try a different look um, or we're feeling, you know, a little different. And then the other thing I did, um, demonstrate already but I'll show you again we got some new liquid eyeshadows and again sorry need my glasses this one is called amethyst and this one is called graphite and so um, I think I had oh it's not a here I thought I had a better picture just so you could see but the graphite obviously is gonna be gray and um, and they're kind of pink but I have on my eyes right now on this side, I already am wearing it. I hope you can see. I have the pink kind of all over um, the bottom of my eye, and then I put the graphite just here in the corner and blended it. So hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna put it on this eye for you so you could see that um, our uh, liquid eye sh uh, shadows are super, super easy to wear. And particularly the pink color, it's very easy. Um, and so I'm just gonna use our cream brush make sure i grab the right one cream brush you can use your finger i mean it's completely easy to manipulate and i just kind of brushed it over my eyelid and a little bit here in the above the crease just a little easy peasy then i took the graphite and i just touched it here at the side of my eye just a little bit in the crease and at the side and then I went back with that same brush and I just kind of blended it. I wanted it mostly to stay out here. So I kind of work it here first and then I drag it over to like blend it a little. But I want it to stay here and it's pretty easy peasy, right? I'm looking in a very small thing so it's hard for me to see it perfectly. But um, like I said, I could have easily done it with my finger too. So the brush, um, is if you don't want to get your fingers dirty or you want to be more precise, the brush is pretty easy. And so I think those liquid eyeshadows are um, 
really great. Like I had put on Blossom, which is a powder eyeshadow before I started and just gave my eye an overall base that was a little bit lighter. Blossom has a tiny bit of um, pink, a very subtle pink to it. And then I put the pink um, liquid eyeshadow first on my lid. And then I went back with the graphite and just put it here in the crease. And I, I think when you see them, you can think, oh gosh, that's too pigmented, that's too much. Um, so like when you put it on your hand like that, that is the pink one. And then the graphite, I think, looks more intimidating, but once you put it on, it blends really beautiful. And so like, look how dark that looks next to my, on my hand. And I thought originally, like, who's gonna be able to wear that, that amethyst, but it's, or graphite, but it's beautiful. And when you put it here in your eyes, you're obviously doing it a little with a little less product, but I think it makes a nice contour, a nice contrast. I already had on my mascara, so I don't need to put that on. And um, I think it's a pretty wearable, easy look for the day. So I think they're beautiful and sparkly, but also very wearable and everyday because I don't really, um, I don't really have a fancy makeup days very often and when I do I can use what I have and just step it up a little be a little more dramatic use a little darker color but pretty much everything I have I try to have for an everyday look and um, so I think those eyeshadows really um, are beautiful and I think people get intimidated by liquid eyeshadow and it's really very very simple it's the same trick as any eyeshadow it's just about blending so you wanna be sure um, any eyeshadows you put on that you blend them together. And the other thing I could do, I actually brought my palette over here, was I could take a little more of the Blossom, which is this one, you can see it's well used because I use it often as a base, is I could just go back up right under my eyebrow and I can just blend in any of the other um, liquid eyeshadow that's migrated up too high or to just highlight um, and open up my eye a little bit more with that blossom on top. So um, yeah, and so the liquid and the powders work great together. They're very easy to use both, so I love that too. Well, that is all our new products. Like I said, if you haven't got a catalog and you want one, let me know and I'll get it out to you. I really appreciate when you invite your friends to our group or you share this video with them. It helps me meet new people, which is a goal of mine. And congratulations to Sabrina who won the lip gloss and to Terry who um, either has a $15 gift certificate or the little goodie of samples, whatever she decides. So have a great day. I hope you're having a good summer. Hi, Mary Beth and Patty and Audrey. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week at What's Up Wednesday. Bye.